So who would win? One little null byte or C Python? Let's find out. So uh, first we're gonna run a little bit of code to generate a Python file. This Python file is gonna look a little bit weird, but trust me, it's worth it. Uh, <laughs> basically, we are going to write a string that contains a null byte, which is valid syntax, and then a comment. And you might already see where the, where the kicker is here in this comment. And if we look at this file, if we cat it out, for instance, it looks fairly normal. You see that, you know, it's just a string and just a comment. Nothing, nothing really surprising there. But when we run it, this is ignored entirely, and this code gets executed. Okay, so what's going on here? Uh, there's a bug in CPython. It's going to be fixed in Python 3.12, uh, and it's technically a security bug, but there's similar enough bugs due to uh, Unicode, you know, look-alike characters or you know, empty, empty space characters or stuff like that, uh, that it wasn't considered a uh, high security bug and backported. But anyway, I found this bug and I wanted to walk you through why it works this way, as well as kind of the, the solutions and you know, how this is gonna move forward. Also how people were intentionally using this bug. Okay, let's start with the uh, the bug here. And the bug is, if you've written an FC or written any C, the bug is obviously a mishandling of a C string. And I've actually highlighted the line that contains the bug, which is this stir care. Uh, if you're not familiar with C, stir care looks for the next character in a string that is this character here. So if you have a string that looks like, I don't know, uh, uh, we'll just write out a, world, a string. Hello world, uh, null byte, uh, hello world, or something like this. A C string will always be, well, <laughs> a correct C string will always be terminated with a null byte. And this is typically how C passes around strings without having a length and uh, buffer pair. They just pass the string and you can find the null byte. That's how you figure out how long that string is. Uh, which is convenient, saves a little bit of memory, but causes all sorts of bugs, just like this one. Uh, so in this case, a string that looks something like this uh, was looking for the null byte, which terminated the line. However, instead it found this embedded null byte and then ignored all of these characters here. So if we look at our little example here, there's actually a null byte between the I and the single quote here. And so what Python does is ignores the single quote and the new line character and combines them up together onto one line. So after that, you get code that looks like, oops. Oh, <laughs> right. My editor does not do well with uh, embedded new lines. Uh, so anyway, it removes the single quote character and the new line. And so you end up with code that looks like this. The new line is completely gone. We get a somewhat harmless assignment of a string. Then this semicolon allows us to run whatever arbitrary code that we had hidden inside of the comment. In this case, it imports the OS module and shells out to echo. Of course, could shell out to more the various things, but this was a nice little example. Uh, so that's basically how it works. Uh, now I want to talk about how I reported this and how it eventually got fixed. So I first started by reporting this to the security mailing list because in my head, <laughs> mishandling of C strings, you know, null terminators in the wrong place. That just sort of screamed security bug to me. Uh, but it was decided by the security team that this was not worth, you know, being secret about uh, due to other you know, similar source confusions. Uh, I don't really agree with them, but alas, it's their project, not mine. Uh, so they recommended that I open a public issue about this uh, mishandling of C strings in the parser. I had a similar bug report, although I think this one, I think this one reads a little bit better than the one that I actually reported because uh, it's turning a comment into actual code. Whereas this one was like, you know, actual nonsense here and like this single quote was never closed. And so this one's a little, in my opinion, a little less compelling. Um, but reported this bug here, uh, also sort of talked about my ideal behavior, which is that source code with null bytes in it should probably be a problem. I did find one example of a real life uh, piece of code uh, that that actually has this. Oops. Uh, if we download this file here, uh, if we do file waf svn, you'll see that it is a Python script. Uh, oops. 
and it it has this, but it does contain new light new light uh null bytes inside of it, which was originally found because Flake Eight crashes on it. That might be on screen. Oh no, it's really on screen. Yeah, so you can see Flake Eight. Flake Eight's like, what are you doing? Why does this source code have null bytes? And that's due, you know, in part to the uh the 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 quirk in the AST parser versus the actual executable parser. So that's how I found this bug. Uh, the actual changes that happened here were all in this patch here, and there are kind of three changes that come out of this. Uh, the first is that null bytes are now forbidden in source files. They were previously forbidden in inline evaluation, but not in source files. So now they're, they're forbidden in source files. Uh, the actual stir care call was fixed, but it didn't actually end up meaning anything. Uh, and the other part of this is that the exception for having a null byte in the source file is no longer value error, it is now syntax error. So basically all three things that I wanted to have happen uh, ended up happening. But this will only land in Python 3.12, so look out for that. But <laughs> a, a fun little uh, fun little toy based on mishandling of, of null byte. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you'd like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.